Get the eggshells. We out you. We out you. No, 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 don't, don't hit me. Bah! Hello, everybody. We're to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Today, we return in Stinky Simulator 2017 because we smell like flat out doggy doo doo. So, today is the day that we make an investment. All right, a good investment. At least what I hope to be a good investment in the rain catcher. Something that is pretty, honestly, pretty heavily needed by us right about now. Uh, not the rain catcher. I'm a dingus. You know what I mean? The shower. We gotta take a shower, which is gonna take some iron ore, some palm logs, some bamboo, and a piece of cloth. I hope that I got all of these things. But if I don't, I think there are still a couple of like small little iron deposits. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But I hope you guys had a fantastic day. And uh, yeah. So while we are kicking off this video, I did want to talk about uh, something that the devs did to show off just uh, earlier today, actually. Oh, please give me that iron ore, Max. I, th I think we are actually in need of a little bit of iron ore. But just earlier today, the devs showed off this. This, which is kind of some concept art that they're drawing up of variants of future flora asking which one do you like the most so first off i want to ask that exact same question to you guys is which one do you guys like the most but also it just looks like i don't know man it looks really cool and from the looks of it some of that flora and fauna looks like you can see it like opening up and like spraying things out like that lower left paper is something like spraying things out like some kind of projectile weapon maybe so what if we're going to have to worry about these things like literally exploding on us and being used on wep as, as weapons? Like, it, it's a realistic possibility right now. And it's kind of freaking cool. I'm not going to lie. But I hope you guys are asking me a fantastic day. Let me get some more fantastic from here on out. I'm excited to do this and I'm excited today. Today is the legendary day where we go to my man, my main main. The trader. And I'm gonna be like, yo, what's up, trader? Give me some stuff. He'll be like, yo, what's up, star? Yo, what's up, Papa Star? Why don't you give me some eggs? And I'll be like, I don't know if I got eggs, but I got scales. And from there, oh, we're gonna be striking ourselves a hell of a deal. The best deal in the world. Best deal, NA. Best deal worldwide. Best deal galaxy wide. All right, this is gonna be like some Star Wars level intergalaxy. Intergalax intergalactic. Y you know what I mean? It's gonna, it's gonna span the galaxy. So I wanna see. Uh, I, I am looking for some raw iron really quickly. What's up, Escada? How you doing, my man? Uh, I, I, I may have prodded him a couple of times with the uh, electricity, you know what I mean? Gotta do what you gotta do to make sure the prisoners stay in top shape, you know? <laughs> oh, there we go. We got just enough and saved up from a couple of those things. So now all that we need is two, and I repeat, two pieces of cloth. So it should not be anything too ludicrous to get our hands on to. I think we have some in one of these. You can see our pineapple reserves continue to grow okay i am about to be the king of the pineapples it's gonna be a great day when i am the king of the pineapple who doesn't want to be king of the pineapple like honestly that would technically make me spongebob when you think about it because spongebob he's, he's pretty much the king of bikini bottom you know he's got some emperor like tendencies and uh he's kind of he lives in a pineapple so that's how you know that a the developers love spongebob and b that spongebob is secretly an emperor and c that I want to become an emperor of uh, of this variety. A pineapple emperor, please. You, ca you can't go wrong. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and toss the shower. We're going to continue doing it. I kind of do want to leave that 2x2 two two slot right there. Just for kind of future, for a future 2x2 two two thing to be put down. Because that's how we're kind of building our base initially. Is we're going to have all the outer walls kind of surrounding this interior courtyard. I kind of like that design choice. It seems like a cool one here. Of course, we got our electric shocker, which is going to shock them electrically. Uh, we cannot take a shower in that, but I don't really do believe that we got some agua ready to be utilized and we can finally cleanse ourselves of the smell. Because no way, no freaking way am I going to the T-Rex smelling as delicious as I am, all right? Because listen, that T-Rex already thinks that I'm a scrumptious piece of chicken, right? Human chicken. Well, once he sees that I smell, mm, you know he's going to be attracted to that smell. It'd be funny if that smell actually, like, you know, drew them away here. Like, they're just like, ah, I want nothing to do with them. I love also how the electric shock, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every once in a while, it kind of like, look, it just got, kind of zaps or something. So that's really cool. But no, that flora. So that's flana. F flana. What the hell is a flana? A, fl a flannel shirt? <laughs> uh, flora slash fauna is actually really cool, though. And uh, I, I don't know. I'm thinking that that's going to be probably like maybe that'll be like this game's explosive barrel. Because you can see in, in one of the pictures, uh, it was literally like exploding. So maybe in the future, that's exactly what it will do. It will literally explode. 
and explosions are oh hold on hold on i actually think i got a uh yeah oh no that's that's full never mind uh but yeah I, that's what i could see it being kind of being used in this game's like explosive barrel as you hit it and then the plant blows up because that one kind of makes sense to put things in context but i don't know you know because in my mind listen a lot of things that make sense in my mind i think we've established that they don't necessarily translate to making sense in real life but that's why i'm looking forward to hearing what you guys got to say and i'd love to see that i mean they're just drawing it up now so i don't think in terms of like timeline it's going to be coming any time like really soon but it's still like it's still something that they're drawn up and as we've seen they are actually planning to progress with the game honestly the best news out of this when they said that an update's coming next week cannot wait for that by the way but also the fact that, you know, they've shown off some future things that they're working on. And it's just really exciting because, I don't know, man. I, I've played a lot of early access games in my time. You know, a lot of, like, cash grab games where it's like they released the initial version of the game. And then that's it. And then they're like, oh, yeah, we'll have more updates. And then those updates never come. So to see them actually working on more updates that involve content and stuff is awesome. And I'm not going to lie. It's a great way of keeping me from going insane from the uh, three, I think it's been about three weeks since we've had our last day update. <sighs> okay, time to do some T-Rex strategy. I hope that we can get an egg today. I've yet to get an egg from these T-Rexes. I wouldn't mind eggshells because that would bring our eggshell total up to 10. But at the end of the day, what I am looking for is definitely, oh, no, 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 T-Rex, do not smell me. Do not smell me. But at the end of the day, uh, I, I would love an egg or an eggshell. One of those two. We have enough scale. Actually, I take some scales too. Because that would bring our total up to 20. If we bring the total up to 20, that means we could get two of whatever the trader is selling. What do we have? Ooh, not too shabby. A little bit of food there. We're starting to like, that's what I love about the T-Rex nest. Is that you don't have to fight anything. And you do get a good amount of loot out of it. It's like, ah, it reminds me of kind of like the old ship. Well, I mean, technically there is the whole like T-Rex hunting you. Very mad that you're trying to steal its nest, you know. But that's like, it's details. Details, right? Small details. That's, don't worry about those. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and store this stuff in the chest just for future notice because, listen, I know, I every time I come into here, I come into here fully well knowing that I have a death wish and, <laughs> oh, this is the last chest, look at that, man, all of them were on the border, I don't know why I just tried punching, but all of them were on the border, which is actually really handy because that means we don't have to, let, it's really easy to grab them. Because the T-Rex doesn't have a lot of time to catch up to us because we can just ditch the map and whoop, 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 whoop. He's nearby. Somewhere. Over the rainbow. Where T-Rexes fly. And their small arms are very swole. Or something like that. Okay, let's just make sure he doesn't notice us. Put those things away now. If I die, I don't care. We got plenty of backpacks back at home from the dudes who are constantly raiding us. So I'm not too worried about that. As long as this T-Rex doesn't notice me and we can find- Okay, this is the clean- Woo! 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 Oh, that mama is not letting- Is not letting that sight go of the egg. That is for sure. I right, please don't circle back, mama. Please don't circle back. Please don't circle back. Okay, eggshells! I'll take them! Oh, she's No, 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 mama. No, mama. No, mama. No, mama. Woo! I'm in a tree. You can't notice me. You notice me. Damn. I was on a hot streak. I think we went two straight times to the T-Rex nest without dying. Well, there goes that streak. It's not a streak that we needed anyway. It was a stupid streak. They never wanted it in the first place. And I'm definitely not just saying that because I lost it. Yeah, you can't prove it otherwise. Bleh. Me, 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 me. Uh, luckily, I don't think the guy is here to raid us yet. He's not here trick-or-treating or, or ding-dong ditching or whatever it is that the, these these young whippersnappers are doing nowadays to try and save Ascara! You know, he's a very high-value target, so he's... You know, one day he might be saved. Uh, this is great, though. I, I don't mind dying because it's, it's an excuse for us to use backpacks. And backpacks at this point just take up inventory slots. <laughs> and uh, whoever... Who, who's coming to save Ascara today? Ascara? Who's coming to save Esketa? Esketa. Uh, it, it's, it's Calter. All right, Calter. He's been resurrected from the dead from the last time that I've killed him. I think it goes like counterclockwise. I think Esketa comes for us first, and then Calter, and then Holy Death. Ooh, we still gotta try and raid Holy Death. I gotta bring some Holy Death upon Holy Death. You know what I mean? Did I just go back into here? I think I did. My brain cells don't work so good all the time. Yeah, I'm a dingus. That's okay. I'm accepting on my dingitude, man. It's just, I was born a dingus. What can you do? 
What can he do? But yeah, we got to raid him and see what he has. Maybe he'll even have some quality weapons for us to add to our arsenal. Because especially, listen, I'm really right now in the camp where like, I just want to fortify, not fortify, but I really want to like stockpile and make sure that our armory is well stocked with weapons for that new event coming next week. Okay, because I want to be ready to do that event because maybe it'll have some good loot. It'll give us some upgrades, but I, like, whenever there's something new, anything unknown, I'll be checking it out first, so what I'm saying is, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your choice, but what I like to, ah! all right, I already noticed me, that was great. <laughs> what I like to do is, uh, like, I try to get on update absolutely as soon as it happens, and then as soon as it does happen, what I like to do is, like, I like to show, show it off, and at least I get to be the stupid one that does the testing and maybe makes mistakes, and then hopefully you guys, when you're playing the game, you guys don't make that, you, got, you guys don't make those mistakes. Because that's good. If you guys don't make the mistakes, I don't know. That that makes me happy. Like, I don't mind making mistakes, okay? I'm happy to be a guinea pig for the most fan freaking fantastic people in the world. All right, because that'll help you guys make better choices, hopefully get more loot, lose less stuff, and progress better than before. And, oh no. Oh, what is with this T-Rex, man? What, what, don't, don't, no, T-Rex, man. Get out of here, T-Rex, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why is this T-Rex patrolling my dead body? It's like it knows. It knows that I had the eggshells. Okay, we're leaving. Maybe the T-Rex will respawn and go somewhere else. Man, that thing is flat out patrolling my dead body like it's petroleum, man. Freaking petroleum jelly, my body. It's weird. It's just a weird sentence. I'm never gonna say that sentence again. That is such a weird one when you start thinking, no. But he's patrolling my body, man. And... Oh. 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 <laughs> Do you guys see this? Literally every time I spawn, he's 10 feet away. It's like he has realized. English is hard. He has realized that I'm on the hunt for his eggs. After his eggshells and green scales went missing for the 20th time. I think he's caught on to us. Okay. It's like he legit only spawns by where our body is. It's just shenanigans. Utter shenanigans. I just want to pick up the eggshells, man. I gotta make it so hard. Like, check it out. Check it. He's gonna be right here. Oh my god, he's not right here. Oh my god, he's right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to die because if I die, our body despawns. And that is the worst thing that could happen right now. Okay. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. Don't don't kill me, T-Rex. Don't kill me, T-Rex. Not right now. Not right now, man. Not right now. Now is not the time. Okay. Dude, this is, this is, this is awful. Okay. I'm gonna go to the other side of the map and maybe the T-Rex will quote unquote smell me there. All right. That, that seems to be the best plan of action. Cause right now this T-Rex is just being, Ugh. dude, this T-Rex is utter, watch. I'm gonna go to the other side. He's gonna be on the other side. Look, I spawned right here. Perfect, right? Beautiful, beautiful. There's our stuff. Hopefully this draws some attention towards us grabbing the things good to go we didn't even need a backpack now that i think about it we're gonna try and get back to ourselves watch though he's still gonna be patrolling that cheeky cheeky booger did we get anything out yeah we did okay we circled back please t-rex t-rex gods the tyrannosaurus once give me some good luck all right do it do it for the vine or whatever it is these kids are doing it for nowadays all right back in my day we did it for the vine I don't know about shell. Okay. Okay. Promising. 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 Get the eggshells. We out you. We out you. No, 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 don't hit me. Ah! Oh my god. It's okay. We died a lot closer to the border. Dude, that T-Rex is not giving up on our body. Holy hell. And now that we're going to respawn at home, we got to deal with this dude trying to invade us. We got an intruder. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Well, don't mind me. I'm about to electrocute you. Because I'm not in the mood right now, Mr. Intruder. Where you at? Where you at, broski doodle? All right, you want to come and save Esketa? Well, come and save Esketa. Because I guarantee that you will not save Esketa. Is, is... Are you coming? Please. There's a T-Rex that I have to save my dead body from. Or a dead body that I have to save... No. No, yeah. A dead body I have to save... I, I don't know. Is this guy going to attack us or what? Yo, mate. Man, come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. Oh, there you are. There you are trying to get me. Calter. Ow. He's got some... He's got... Okay, he's... Oh, no. We're doing more damage than he is. What is he hitting with? Oh! 
Holy hell, that man wants to make it to the Olympics. Ah, he's trying to beat my meat with the cook hammer. All right, dude, well, uh, squad goals or whatever it is, I suppose. You know, you keep, you keep, <laughs> you keep beating your meat with the cook hammer, whatever it is you want. I'm, I'm gonna go back to doing things my way, though. Uh, so let's drop these things off. I'll organize these things a little bit later. A little bit later. I don't know why. I want to say a little bit later twice. I don't know why. My brain works in funny ways. Is it gonna suck, though, in terms of using up energy? Because we have to keep using energy to go back to the T-Rex nest just to get pooped on by the T-Rex. We're so close, dude. Like, we are definitely gonna- I'm feeling it. Feeling good about this one. We're definitely gonna be able to get it. Uh, but we just gotta put a couple of things away. A couple of spindles. And the spindles go in the next house over. I gotta build like some doorway of getting over there. I can't just have that. It's like a shed at this point. That's kind of like built into the side of my house. Okay. Cross the finger. Why did I bring the cattle prod? Oh man. You know what? Fine. Maybe maybe dinosaurs are scared of electricity. Maybe he won't come after me when he sees I have such a lethal weapon. And I think I have a good plan of action. Uh, we might. Yeah, I think I got an idea. Okay, so we'll go there. Go to the airdrop, go back home, pick up our things, and then hopefully have enough energy to finish things off and head to the dealer. Because airdrops, you can never go wrong with. I'm a lot more- I might not like- e e See, our inventory might have a good amount of stuff in it though, which is the one problem. But other than that, I think we'll be good. And if we die in the airdrop, at least we can get our things back if we really need to. I got 45 health, not like it matters at this point. I am staying as close as possible to the edge of the map. We're not playing games today. So I'm pretty- if this works the exact same way as last day does, which I'm pretty sure it does, is you can only have one dead body on each map at a time. So if you die, your dead body will exist and replace your old dead body. And the loot that you would have on your old dead body, like those gorgeous eggshells we got, amongst other things, is gone forever. So, really don't want that to happen right now. Watch, this stupid T-Rex is still gonna be here. Okay, this T-Rex is just, yeah, he smelled me. Yeah, dude, dude, what are, what? You what, mate? You what? You what? You what? You what? You freaking what, mate? Watch, I'm gonna try to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. He's gonna go back to the body. Hopefully he keeps on trying to follow me so I can just grab that body and go. Because right now, man, I'm just not a fan of things. Is this, wait, aren't there two T-Rexes on the map? Kind of scared here. Kind of scared of watch. He's going to circle back. Calling it. Take all. Run for the... Oh, no. We got to equip that, don't we? Equip that. Okay, beautiful. Run for the hills. We got the stuff. Bless up. Now, let's hope that we just got enough energy to make it to the like this circuit here. That's going to take us 13. And we got 38 energy to go home and go to the trader. And we also have 12 minutes. So we got a couple of restraints, but home is 19. That thing's even closer than home. Okay, so we'll be fine. So let's let's go for the airdrop. If we got extra room, mm, dude, we're mm. we have uh, no health though. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got a couple of these things we could use. Okay, we got. I I'm not gonna try and pick up a lot of things. I don't think that's a wise idea right now. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna try to fight a lot of things either. I'm gonna try to be as sneaky dicky as possible. Get as many- oi, oi lad, oi! Those things are impossible to dodge, man. They're so annoying. Oh, okay, okay, he's one of you wanting me- ah! Eat electricity, bruh. Ooh, I don't know why this dude's smoking a pack, but... I don't judge, dude, I don't- you- you do you, spitting frickin' dillo. I've- I've never seen a dinosaur smoke a cigarette, but maybe I'm just not watching the right type of movies. <laughs> I just, I, I'm trying to imagine like Jurassic Park with like Velociraptors just cigarettes in their mouth like yeah shay yeah shay I'll take a kukri and our inventory is gonna be way too full after this We got room for like one little thing. I'm gonna put the water bottles there. It gives us a couple of slots to play with uh, So let's get to playing We should be able to take this dude out in one hit this electric prod though. It's got some good durability to it Which is really nice. It feels like it's lasting for a while uh, but what is it? Mangos! Give me the mangos. And I'm gonna eat a lot of these mangos, because we get XP from it, and health. So you really can't go wrong with that. And bamboo while we're at it. Those are the two things I'll go for. Uh, I think there's- Oh, I forgot! There's still the Ankylosaur on this map. We are in no way, shape, or form ready to take on an Anklo, though. I'm more than happy to get the bamboo around the edges. Um, uh, let's try to eat some of the mangos. 
Make sure we got at least one in our inventory at all times so our dude never forgets that he's supposed to be picking those up. We can also... No, what I forgot about. Uh, we can also... Dude, this zebra is so clueless. Hey, zebra, what's up? Don't bite me. Just do the electric cattle prod. Sucker! Seriously, man. <laughs> he doesn't even want to run. Uh, what I was going to say... We get rid of those tin cans. I don't think we have to use those things for anything at the moment. And... Uh, we, I, I'm keeping, that's a good amount of water. Oh, it's just a little baby. It's a little baby tooth disease. What's up, baby tooth disease? Uh, I got a lot of threads back at home. I ain't too worried about that. Uh, is this the ankylosaur here? Usually there's one anky per map. No, it's just the velociraptor. We should be able to hit the dude. Ah! Oh, he got one hit in on us, though. They hit a lot faster. I got a lot of cloth back at home, too. I feel like they hit faster than uh, their last day on Earth counterparts. Usually in the last day on Earth, I'm, I'm able to get like a second hit off after I sneak attack someone, but... So far in this game, not the, so much. Not enough space for the bamboo. Aw. Well, doesn't that just make you a sad panda? Well, all things considered... I mean, I guess I could take the meat back home. I'm not too high on dude. Is this the Ankylosaur? No, it's another Velociraptor. Alright, let's get a little bit of XP then, boys! As you know, I'm still trying to level up. Alright, not everything. Not Ooh! I'll take the flashlight. Yeah, you know what? We'll just, we'll eat that now. We needed like five health anyway to hell with it. And is this where the ankylosaur lies in wait? Oi, oi. Now's not the time. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let's put those berries here. Uh, we're gonna have to eat those things hella quickly. Oh my God. Well, that just went awful. Thanks game. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Nice rope, by the way. Uh, our inventory is full, so I think we're, I think our deed is done here. No, no ankle sore this time around, so that's kind of chill, but... Yeah, so be it. Our inventory is full. I don't think there's much of... Ah! Ah! Eh, no, no. I have no healing items. We're not... We're not taking the chances. Just make your way back home with our eggshells. Take the two things to the dealer. And let's strike a deal. You guys ready? Deal or no deal? Jurassic edition. I'm excited, dude. I've never been on deal or no deal before. Deal or deal's gotta... They gotta do that, man. They gotta have, like, a YouTuber special. All right, because you know, I'd be finessing. I'd be flexing and finessing on them haters over there. <laughs> on, uh, on, I don't, for some reason, I was about to say Jurassic Park. On, uh, on Deal or No Deal. All right, the goldfish brain, man. Listen, my brain's fried from school. So this is, this is my outlet. <laughs> uh, I think as long as we don't loot this guy, his dead body will stay there. So, uh, keep it up there. Keep it up. Maybe, maybe I'll, oh, I wish I could move the dead body. I would totally give it to Escada! Give him a little bit of a, a little bit of a mate there to have fun with. Uh, but okay. I'm gonna organize the inventory because we got a little bit of organization to do. Alright, then we're looking pretty good here, all things considered. We got the rawhide. I'm gonna go ahead and toss, yeah, I was actually gonna go toss these really quickly over here in our courtyard. I can't wait. Uh, we could, ooh, if we got enough energy to make it back here, we might honestly do a little bit of building at the end of the day. Try and, uh, finally encase this place fully. It's still gonna take a good amount of bamboo. But I think we have enough to do it. We wouldn't have the inner walls or anything going, but at the very least, it would be an outer wall along our courtyard. And I don't know, dude, this courtyard idea, I like it. I kind of have something similar going on in the, uh, whatchamacall, the last day on Earth, so I I'm a fan. I'm um, also, I just don't have the inventory room for that leather right now, although, you know, let's make some room right now. I think there's a place that is like, I think one of my chests is one slot. Yeah, I know. I know. We got to invest in some more chests. How far away are we? Actually, suit most important question here. I'll, I'll just take the pickaxe with us. How far are we from better chests? We can make the small box. When can we make? Ooh, soon, my sons, soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need a little bit of that in my life for sure. So we'll try and get some. I wonder if doing these trades with the dealer. We'll get us levels. I'll try to keep doing levels in the free time, though, because uh, actually today I have like a three hour drive back home from college for Thanksgiving break. Oh, dude, it's going to feel so good to have like a week break. You don't even understand. And uh, no, get out of your baryotic son. Where do I want to go to the dealer. There we go, man. There we go. And in four minutes, we'll have enough energy to get back home. But yeah, I'm going to have a pretty long car ride ahead of me. So I was thinking that I spent a good amount of that time uh, trying to do some stuff in here, doing a little bit of organization in here in the last day because uh, it's gotten to the point where those two things need organization and I should have brought a hatchet here. I brought a pickaxe, but not a hatchet. I'm just the genius, aren't I? That's literally the only thing on the map. They're just random trees. All right, dealer. Well, what you got for me? Five eggs for a deal, you said. Oh, oh, oh. Dealer, my friend, my son, 
I, I like what you got. But, uh, yeah, let's let's trade that a little bit. Sold a brand new Beretta 92 coming our way. That brings our total up to three firearms ready to pop. The ice axe is the ice axe that good? I don't know, but we got to use these things for something. And why not use it for an ice? That th ice axe is really poopy. Eleven damage. Still a melee weapon, but I wish we had a T-Rex egg. Like, we're, we're getting such bad luck with the T-Rex eggs. We're not getting anything. And we could have had some military body armor. I would have loved that. Do you know how much that protection must be? I'm just freaking naked half the time besides my loincloth. Not even half the time. Most of the time, I'm naked. I could go straight from nakedness to military body armor. Listen, I'm just, I'm just saying... All right, military body armor is a little bit better at stopping bullets than my bear skin. All right, bear skin is actually usually a uh, little bit of a scientific note here. Very bad at doing that. So, uh, yeah, but other than that, uh, we have knocked out the goals that I set out to accomplish today, so I'm happy about that. We talked about what I want to talk about, and our energy supplies are on the low low, but we can begin our trek back home and hopefully start leveling up and just... Ah, I just want a T-Rex egg. Why is it so hard? To get a T-Rex egg, because the dealer, he likes dealing with T-Rex eggs, and uh, not gonna lie, I kinda do too. But other than that, that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all time for watching, I wish you nothing but the most fan fantastic day in the world. That only gets more fan fantastic from here on out. Cannot wait to continue this series, cannot wait to continue last day on earth, and cannot wait to continue hopefully entertaining y'all, and making sure to put a smile on them beautiful little faces of yours. But that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for Papa Star. Thank you guys for watching, have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.